Good evening, everybody. Uh, Pastor Michael coming to you here on a Monday night. I hope you're all uh, doing and feeling well uh, right now. Um, we continue to uh, just rest in each other, and um, I hope you're finding ways to to pass the time and to, to keep your sanity. Um, I've been talking to uh, more mothers and uh, fathers of children, uh, school-age children, who are more and more grateful for teachers <laughs> and the hard work that they do in order to educate our children and educate them well. They're finding just how difficult and challenging of a task uh, that can that can be at this time, and uh, so it, I find that interesting that we find ourselves grateful for things that we normally maybe would have uh, at least not been as grateful for before. Maybe not quite to say that we would have taken them for granted, although there may be some of that as well. Uh, but certainly things um, that we are grateful for in a new way and appreciative have come to have a greater appreciation of than we did before. Um, all of this as we figure out what it means to be separated from so many of the things, uh, the daily resources that we so often have access to, and teachers is certainly one of them. Church is another one. Um, uh, many people have uh, have said that, hey, I'm sorry I can't be, we can't be together, um, but we're glad that we can be together the way we can, at least through the through the gift of modern uh, technology. So um, I'm grateful uh, that we can we can be to, be together. Um, and I'm also grateful that one of the things that continues to be with us and one of the things that uh, maybe some of us take for granted um, and have had a greater appreciation for now is Scripture. Um, I keep finding uh, little nuggets and little pieces in Scripture that are so helpful and so encouraging to me at this time. And one of them was given to me in my devotions this morning. Um, in my devotional that I use uh, right now in the mornings, um, it pointed me to uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, um, words that I knew were here, um, but certainly now in this time and in this context, uh, take on a little bit of a different meaning. And so I want to share them with you, uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, uh, beginning at verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Um, you know, when you think about that phrase, the, the family of believers around the world is undergoing the same kind of of suffering. This is certainly a worldwide pandemic that we're in, and this is not something that's just peculiar to North American churches, um, but it's churches that have been affected around the world by this, and we're all struggling as brothers and sisters in Christ with the same things. And so we take confidence in, in that, and, um, and we know that that's the case, so these words again take on some different meaning. Uh, but also that phrase, cast all your anxieties on him. Uh, we just really need to go to the Lord at this time and uh, put our hope, our trust in, uh, in, in Him and uh, maybe get a new appreciation for, uh, for Scripture um, in, in and through all, all of this. Um, and He will lift you up in His due time, First uh, Peter says, um, that the Lord will be faithful. He is steadfast and good. And we are all going through the same things. And uh, and so tonight I want to give you, I've usually given you the, the words from number six as your blessing, um, as you close out your evening, as we close out our evening together. Uh, tonight I wanted to give you words of blessing that actually come from 1 Peter 5, the rest of this part of the, of the chapter, which says this, verses 10 and 11. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Well, that is your blessing from 1 Peter 5, verses 10 and 11 tonight. Um, to him be the power forever and ever. God bless you, and good night.